cross product of two vectors and how to find cross product of two vectors i will teach you the most easy method with many examples that how can you find the cross product of two vectors at the end of this lecture i will teach you that how can you check your answer or result before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free let consider a vector a in this direction and a vector b in this direction let both the vectors a and b are perpendicular let the components of vector a is equal to 5i plus 3j plus 7k while the components of vector b is equal to 3i minus 2j minus 8k remember that i intentionally ignore arrows on vectors and hats on unit vectors for simplicity now if i ask you to find cross product of a and b will you find it i hope you can let me teach you a very simple method first of all look at the order of multiplication of cross product i mean that a cross b is totally different from b cross a so you must be careful about the order of cross multiplication of two vectors here the order of multiplication is a cross b now firstly i will write all the components of vector a in matrix form there are three components of vector a and vector b so i will draw three columns in this matrix as i j and k the first vector is a hence put all the components of vector a in their respective columns and rows so i put this 5 i in i column this 3j in 3j column and this 7k in k column now the second vector is b hence i will put all the components of vector b in their respective columns and rows as i did for vector a thus i put 3i in i column minus 2j in j column and minus 8k in k column as a result i get 2 by 3 matrix now the next step is a cross b is equal to component of i minus component of j plus component of k i write down empty matrix for i j and k components well we need to find the determinant of this 2 by 3 matrix if you ask why you are finding the determinant of this 2 by 3 matrix well finding determinant will fill these empty matrix or finding determinant will provide us the components of i j and k unit vectors so we therefore find the determinant now the unit vector i is in the first row and in the first column so cancel the first row and the first column what is left behind it is 3 7 Minus two and minus eight. So right here, three, seven, minus two and minus eight. We get two by two matrix for i unit vector. Now j is in the first row and in the second column. So cancel the first row and the second column. What is left behind? It is five, seven, three and minus eight. So right here, five, seven, three, and minus eight. Similarly, k is in the first row and in the third column. Thus, cancel the first row and third column. What is left behind? It is five, three, three, and minus three. Now I can easily find the determinant of these two by two matrix. I again write. A cross B is equal to component I minus component J plus component K. Now here, three into minus eight is equal to minus twenty-four. 
minus 7 and 2 minus 2 is equal to minus 14 and this 2 by 2 matrix 5 and 2 minus 8 is equal to minus 40 minus 7 and 2 3 is equal to 21 and this 2 by 2 matrix 5 and 2 minus 2 is equal to minus 10 minus 3 and 2 3 is equal to 9 now a cross b is equal to minus 24 plus 14 is equal to minus 10 i minus 40 minus 21 is equal to minus 61 and to minus is equal to plus 61 j minus 10 and minus 9 is equal to minus 19 and to plus is equal to minus 19 k thus the cross product of a vector and b vector is equal to minus 10 i plus 61 j minus 19 k from this example we also learned that the cross product of two vectors a and b is equal to a new vector or you can say that cross product of two vectors a and b generates a new vector c hence the cross product of a and b is equal to c what about the direction of vector c well we have a cross b so curl your right hand fingers from a towards b the thumb of your right hand points in the direction of vector c so vector c is an outward or an upward direction thus by right hand rule we can easily find the direction of a cross b here let me give you two bonus mcqs firstly remember that direction of a cross b in this case is upward while the direction of b cross a in this case is downward according to right hand rule that is why a cross b isn't equal to b cross a because the direction of a cross b is upward while the direction of b cross a is downward thus a cross b is equal to negative b cross a the negative sign indicates the opposite direction now at last let me teach you that how can you check your result here i calculated that the cross product of a and b is equal to minus 10 i plus 61 j minus 19 k either it is the correct answer or the wrong answer well to check your answer correctly you must know that the dot product of two vectors is equal to zero we know that c vector is perpendicular to both a vector and b vector so if the dot product of c and a is zero then r this calculation of a cross b would be 100 percent right otherwise our calculation of a cross b would be wrong so i will find the dot product of a and c remember that the dot product of two vectors are super easy just multiply the i component of vector a with the i component of vector c j component with the j component and k component with the k component and then add them all hence 5 i into minus 10 i is equal to minus 50 plus plus 3 j into plus 61 j is equal to 183 plus plus 7 k into minus 19 k is equal to minus 133 thus i get minus 50 plus 183 and minus 133 now i write minus 50 plus into plus is equal to plus 183 plus into minus 133 is equal to minus 133 now this minus 50 and this minus 133 is equal to minus 183 hence this plus 183 and this minus 183 are cancelled out as a result we get zero thus the dot product of a vector and c vector is equal to zero it means that vector a is perpendicular to vector c therefore are this calculation of a 
cross B is 100% right. Even if you find the dot product of B and C, you will get 0. Because if C is perpendicular to A vector, then C must be perpendicular to B vector. This was all about how to find the cross product of two vectors and how to check your answer. If you have learned something new in this lecture, like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures. Thank you very much for watching this lecture.